set up the uh, the prime blind. So in order to do that, they, they have a um, vented cap on the end here for sterilization. We need to change those because hence, if it's left open, the patient can exsanguinate right here. So this vented cap, put a solid cap with no hole on it, okay? And there's two parts we need to do that. Let me show you the hole in the vented cap. See the hole there? See, and if this is the valve is open, the patient can exsanguinate. So please be mindful of that. So we will put the other cap on. I can find it right here. And then the next thing we need to do is tighten our connections. So there's a few connections. So we'll tighten this guy. Make sure that doesn't come apart. Hence, if it comes apart, what happens? Laura. Patient will exsanguinate. The patient will exsanguinate. Okay. Uh, so <clears throat> I'm gonna check this this side here. Make sure that's nice and tight. That's nice and tight. All right. So this line is ready to be attached to the 500 cc's normal saline. Okay. We used to use heparinized solution, but I, I guess I decided it wasn't necessary. So we're gonna open the bag. And I was taught this by an RT many years ago that the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna spike the bag. Take this out a little bit, get some, the air out of the bag, and then spike it again. All the way, be careful because they often puncture through the insertion site here. The next thing we do is we're gonna hook out up to a pressure bag. Because if this is not pressured, and you know arterial pressure is higher than venous pressure, it will backflow and clog the line. And go through here, in the hole, hang it on an IV pole. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to start pressurizing the bag. And the reason why I do that is if you have no fluid here, or if you do fill manually without priming, when you pri when you pressurize the bag, it's gonna fill this up too much and then you're, you're gonna have too much fluid in there and you won't be able to tell. So what I usually do is just, so I see a couple of drops come out. And a few drops come out. So you gotta make sure there's a little volume there. If not, you're just gonna collect air throughout your whole line. So the way to prime this, once that's somewhat pressurized, so we're going to close this valve away and then I'm going to take this cap off and we're going to pull this little blue tab and look at my hands how dirty they are. <laughs> <laughs> so you try to get all the air out, okay, sort of a bubble on the end, cap it, turn the stopcock back up so we can have a straight flow. And do the same with this 308 stopcock up here until there's a little bubble and there. Cap that, open the valve, and up like that, flow it till there's some fluid at the end. Okay, so we've got fluid coming out. Now we can pressurize this. So I want you to keep look at the uh, chamber here when it's pressurized and we're going to go up to the the green tab on here which is 150 uh, millimeters mercury pressure so we're going to pressurize that till we see a green line on this indicator here and if you notice while i'm pressuring the uh the fluid's getting uh in the chamber it's being pushed into the chamber so imagine if you would you know squeeze your chamber before you before you pressurize this whole volume would be filled up now we're at green, and make sure you close this valve on the on the uh, little pump here. If not, sometimes this leaks. And the last thing to do for priming is we're gonna give her, once it's pressurized, give her a little shot. And let flow, and then you quickly check your line, make sure there's no air in there. No air, okay. Next step is to zero the arc line. Before that, though, you want to make sure to always label so there's no confusion of what it is. So we're just going to go ahead and label it. And then you also have these red stickers you want to just put on 
Each little. Right there. Right where? Right here. Are you left handed? Yep. <clears throat> where should I put the last one? Right here? Sure. There we go. Okay, and the red indicates art line, the blue indi indicates central line, and uh, the yellow is, we don't really use it that much as far as Swan, Swan Gantz, not, uh, not used, and I haven't used it in probably uh, 20 years now. So. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we're gonna come up to the uh, anesthetic machine, we're gonna zero the art line. So we're going to find a pressurized cable, which is using a 